So our next word is toshin. That little small two right there. Toshin. Hi. Do you know what toshin, toshin. means? To is a hole of some sort. Uh, this is actually to to stab. So you saw this at um. To. Uh, to. To. You, you saw it in like a stabbing word not that long ago. And sheen yes. is to be go forward. So forward stab is um to charge or to rush. To charge. To charge. Basically to be like a bull. Shoot. Oh, Shoot. <laughs> to charge in. Right over there. Yeah. Toshin. Yep. Toshin. Toshin. So I'm gonna force I... you to remember the tosh. This is um totsu. Um and in and in this context, the t turns into a glottal stop. To toshin. Toshin. Hi. Um. Hai. What is the potential form of modoru, which is an u verb? Modoru. Modoru to return. Mm -hmm. Um. U, u verb. Potential. Meaning. We still have to change the ru into a ra. That's a good guess. That would be true. That would be true if this was a um ru verb. However, this is actually uh, a verb that ends with r plus u. So all you have to do is delete the u and add e. So a potential form of modoru is mo do re ru. Re ru. So potential is very is different than passive versus causative. So causative is a de do, and passive is um a seru, I believe. Um. So. So yeah, that's, it's seru. very hard with the three um, stooges. They keep switching on each other in my head. It definitely feels like it does. It, it's all about hammering Hai. that in. Hi. So this one is Wait. modo. Oh, no, I, I am wrong. Causative. What? Uh, causative is the se aseru and passive is aseru. <laughs> Araru. And aseru. Right. So mo so modo rareru is to be able it is was returned but not the subject basically, and uh, modo raseru is to make somebody return. Right. Ah, ah. So the important thing is passive and causative had the ah 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 yes. sound. Yep, and then the this difference is the, the second e. character. And this only apply for u verb. Ru verb is had the only verb is the same as passive. Oh, whatever. It's it's a uh, what the don't worry about. We'll see more and more examples as we go through it. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Got some katakana. Weru meto, weru meto. No, machi e totsushi. Toshin, Toshinsta. Charge at the village of Wermet. Hi, hey, exactly. Perfect. The town, the village. Okay. Our next word is Nudedu. Nudedu is to be wet. Nudedu has a nice little no. water kanji and then a nice little rain kanji right there. Well, radical. So, kind of nice. Uh, sadly. Hey. We don't need to learn that kanji, but what's this word? Charge with tos. Shin. Hi, tosin Shin. charge. Hi. So what does the sentence say? Um Nureta Machi e Hoshinsta Charge at the wet road. Perfect. Okay. Do you remember what um kereba meant? For example, nao kikana kereba tatsukeran 
助けられん。なおきかなければ、ければ。This is the verb in the, in the、uh, conditional form. It's a good guess. But it's the negative. なければ、in the negative conditional, meaning if I don't hear. はい、If I do not hear your name, I cannot help you. Perfect. Yep. Deba is a kind of if. Okay. Let's go read our next sentence. Doa e tochin suru sureba. If charge at the door, like run for it kind of a yes. thing. Yoru、uh, no. Where meto no machi no ameni in 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 the rain in the in the rain of the town of metro of the night. This is a case where I have three no. <laughs> okay, yeah, kind of weird. <laughs> um, so he's saying in the in the in the rain of the town. Of in the rain of the town of Metoreto of the night,、mm -hmm. uh, Nureta,、um, the slope, this is slope character, Saka Michi e Modoreru. Hi. So the main so, aspect of this meaning... is this. Do e toshin tsureba, Saka Michi e Modoreru. It's possible to return to the hill, the hill street. Hi. So, this right here, though, is modifying the hill street as ame ni nureta sakamichi. So, what does that mean? Ame ni, ame ni nureta.、Um, it was wetted, wetted by the rain of、exactly. the town. Yep. Of the, in the night. In the night. Perfect. Yeah. So, the yoru is kind of just stuck in there. But then that suddenly flowed a lot better once you got. Which verb we're modifying. Hi. Yeah, this ni, I should not try to translate it until I get to the what's coming next、cool. because this ni could be many things. Your goal should always be to translate once you hit a verb. Once you hit your verb, you go, okay, I'm ready. So we're here, tosin t u d a b a you hit a verb. Okay, I can translate. But before you hit a verb, normally it's kind of,、mm. and always check whether or not a verb is describing a noun right next to it. Because, for example, this right here, we know it's going to be describing this. But since we know that, then we can kind of just quickly do that clause before swimming back to the noun. But yeah. Hi. Okay. So, this is where we saw earlier that, do you remember what it started with? It ended with me. It means to be interested in. But it's like, kyo, kyo hi. Mi.、Yep. Kyo mi no kyo. Hi. Um, so it showed up in this sentence. Can you read it for me? Chitsu ni kyomi fukai. Hi, kyomi bukai. Uh, so this means、bukai. hi. So this is normally fukai, Ibui... but it's bu here. Yes, bukai. Yes, it's sound drift, it's, it's drifted, yeah, from a soft sound to a strong sound, basically.、Oh. Yes, voicing is happening well, it's from a From a soft consonant to a strong consonant, basically. Yep. Your throat is vibrating. Ah,、uh, yeah. Truly, deeply interested. um What did it end with? End with E. uh Not E, actually, me. Kyo mi. Ah, k o m i k o m i hi. Okay. So, you can see, you will normally see kyomi ga aru to mean there is an interest, to have an interest, basically, or kyomi.、Um, but in this book, they use kyomi ga detekuru. Basically, is, this is not the standard uses, so you're not going to see this very often. But basically, interest is kind of coming toward me and like enveloping me, kind of. So, I'm getting, basically, he's getting more and more interested, is kind of what、mm. this is being. The interest is kind of bubbling up. Uh, you're more likely to see wa wameku in this kind of context to actually the boil up wameku.、Uh, but、uh, in this context, you want to say detekuru, coming out, interest is 
bubbling out of me. Detekuru. Hi. So let's go read the line from the book. Demo nige nakata oren mo neburi ni kiyomi ga dete kita karada. So see, right here we got nige, nige nakata. So we see that's a verb. And we also can tell it's attached to no. So you could have stopped and went, but nigita ore mo. And like translated right there. And then continued on till the next verb, which is uh, dete kita. I, so demo, however, nige nakata ore mo. Um, I also uh, did not run. Okay. So this is the me that did not run also. So mo isn't actually a part of this clause. So the I who did not run also did this. I see. Okay. So the I that did not run also um, became uh, interested at Neburi. Perfect. And, Th and that is the kara? reason. Yes, kara exactly. Da. Yep, that is the reason why he decided to not run away. Okay, now we're doing a kanji check. What's this word? One second, Moni is loading up. So slow in it, curses. Hi, tosin. Perfect. What does that mean? Toshin is charge, to mm. rush at. What's this one? Sakamachi. Um, michi. You know it though, but. <laughs> Sakamichi. And what's this guy? Kiyomi. Hi, Kiyomi. Um, do you happen to know this kanji? Um, this is a body part. So, so. Likely to be an arm. Hi. So it's ude. Yep, ude, arm. Perfect. Here's a random sentence using it. What does it say? Sore wa ore no ude dakedo. That is my arm, however. Exactly, perfect. It's a random nonsensical sentence. Here's another line for you to read. Subayai te o motsu ore. Hi. So we're describing ore. Um, the eye that grab. Um, the eye that grabs, with the with the swift hands. Hi. Good guess. So motsu means to hold. To hold. That hold with the. Yes. Yes, I make that mistake here. And so even though the eye it, that hold with a hand. So even though motsu means hold, it is used context like contextually in the Japanese language to mean to possess. Which see it which you see is very possess. similar or to have. So I who have Hi. te, I who have a hand that is subayai. Hi. So this say it is the I who have the swift hand. Exactly. It's I who has the swift hand or hands, depending on context. Perfect. Yeah, it's it, it just it's it is a weird for us Americans to like use motsu in that kind of way. I who have a hand. Hi. Okay, how do you read this Hello, word? Motsu. Ude no i. Hi. This Ide means no i, a meaning a good arm, skillful. Yes, skillful. Perfect. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Hi. Subayaku ugoku te o motsu ore wa ude no i dorobo da. Um, swiftly move the hand motsu ore wa i i who can 
who possess the swift hands um, have good skills, Hey. have good, uh, I, I am a, I who have good, who have swift hand is a thief. It is a skillful thief. Exactly. I who possess a hand and this hand moves swiftly am a skillful thief. So perfect. So our main sentence is Oriwa Doroboda. I am a thief. What kind of thief? A skillful thief. And who am I? I am someone that possesses hands. What kind of hands? Hands that can move swiftly. So we actually have a relative clause right here and then a relative clause right there. So we have a relative clause in a relative clause. I possess hands I see, that I see. can move swiftly. That moves swiftly. Hi. It's two verbs. Hi, hi. Yes, those verbs are parsing the sentence in Exactly. a way. So when you see a verb, you can always kind of pause and be like, okay, what's going on? Okay. Short form and a noun. So that means we're describing that part. We had another verb. Okay. Short form and a noun. So I'm describing this. So it's a, that's how, a way how you can split up sentences. Hi, hi, Okay. hi. So this word right here means apprentice. Do you happen to know how it ends? It starts with de. De, de, de she. Hi, de she. Perfect. Here's a random sentence with the word inside of it. Um, money. Not to interrupt you, but if you have to do something at the time, we can end. Um, Right. Oh, con, that's fine. unless you want to continue. Um, con wa neburi, uh, no deshi ni naru. Um, it say here, um, deshi is like a student. It's like a, it's like a live-in student, Hi. an apprentice. That's what it means. So. Um, an ap an apprentice of, of neburi. become so khan will become nebri apprentice Yes, Khan will become Nebri's apprentice. And what is the potential form of Nadu, which is a uber? u u verb so is ra plus u so the ra need to change and it's a potential form so it's ra nara Reru or Hi. So Nara not so Reru. not Adenu Nara Reru. would be if this was a do verb. The potential form of Nadu, the magical do verb, would be na nareru, which um I do think um na nadu um let's go right here with um this one maybe Narimas maybe. There might be a nadu that is a do verb. I don't know it though. Uh, but it probably exists. But this one right here is nadu to become, which is an u verb. So how this works is that there's actually is not a da here. And instead, what you're doing is that you're just adding an e and deleting the u. So it actually is nadu. 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 So this is to be able to become. Nadu. Which sounds a lot like. to get used to but it is a different verb um what's this word right here apprentice Um, desh, de, she, de, she know that. desi perfect okay and i'm gonna quickly uh, okay yeah okay so let's go read the sentence Sono dorobo wa deshi ni natta daro. That thief had became um, that thief became a an apprentice. Uh, um, this Daro is uh, like, yeah, he, he he um, this Daro is expressing uh some level of certainty. Yeah, some level to yourself. uncertainty. So it could be uncertainty. probably, or it could be, I wonder, did that thief become an apprentice? Or, huh, I think that thief probably became an apprentice. Could be either. Depends on context. But yeah, that all. Perfect. Probably, probably. Do you know what Kito I wonder, means? does that seem Yeah. Kito, 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 it's, um, it's an adverb that describes uh, just, 
just now, just a moment ago, something means, recently happened. Yeah, that'd be um, a different one. Uh, like, saki is just a moment ago. Um, kito means definitely, for sure. Kind of like, uh, I don't know, like making like a perfect dot on something. Kito. I don't know. But yeah, kito, it means kito. for sure. Definitely. Sure. Okay. So here we have nareru. This is not to get used to. This is the potential form of naru to become. But yeah, let's go read our last sentence of the day. Hi. Kito ure no i. Mado majutsu shi no de shi ni mo nareru daro. Um, I wonder. And here, um, I think probably is a better translation. Last one was probably. The... <laughs> okay, so probably. Okay, so uh, sh surely or definitely a good arm, a skillful magician apprentice. Ni mo na mo, so ni and then mo, so um will surely definitely become a an apprentice um 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 a magician apprentice not able able to probably will able to also be an apprentice of the magician that is skillful Hi. for sure yeah so the previous sentence he said i am a skillful thief so th that's why that mo is in here. So he says, I can probably definitely become, so I already said can, so I can probably definitely become a skillful magician's apprentice. So the mo is here because of the ude no i part of this. So because I'm skillful at thievery, I'm sure I can be skillful at becoming a, a wizard's apprentice as well. So that I think is actually the end of the chapter but we also have um basically a diary entry to read for the next part of this which is like nebody's diary basically which is very fun to see nebody's point of view of the things uh, that happens but yeah that is where we will be stopping for the day so yeah you're almost Wonderful. fully done with a full chapter of a book yay Ooh. what a great 